Hey tech enthusiasts! Today in this video, we are tackling a critical aspect of setting up your civilian system, the connection between your PoE and VR and your router. But wait, there is a potential pitfall that many overlook, the incorrect cable connection. So today we are going to delve into this topic. And also, don't miss out on the next level of efficiency and performance. You can visit our website to explore and revolutionize your technological landscape now. So in the realm of civilian system, PoE and VR stand as a pivotal technological advancement, reshaping the landscape of security solution. And these devices seamlessly integrate power and data, providing a streamlined and efficient approach to camera connectivity. And this integration significantly simplifies installation process and reduces cable clutter, optimizing the overall effectiveness of civilian setup. Moreover, beyond their inherent convenience, Power Over Ethernet Network Video Recorder play a crucial role in enabling remote access and functionality. By establishing a connection between your PoE and VR and the router, users can gain the ability to remotely monitor and manage their civilian system, not only enhances convenience, but also offer a heightened level of control and responsiveness, making the PoE and VR a cornerstone in modern civilian strategy. So router connection basics are fundamental to optimizing the functionality of PoE and VRs in civilian system. In a general overview, the connection process involves linking the PoE and VR to the router, establishing a crucial bridge for data transfer and remote access. And commonly, this connection is facilitated through the utilization of standard port and cables. Ethernet cables with their standardized connector are instrumental in ensuring a seamless link between the PoE and VR and the router. While specific ports, such as the LAN port, the local area network port, play a pivotal role in facilitating this communication. However, a crucial aspect often overlooked is the potential for incorrect cable connection, the common mistake of using the wrong cables or misconfiguring port can lead to connectivity issues, jeopardizing the effectiveness of the civilian system. And one of the most common mistakes in setting up civilian system involves the incorrect plugging of cable into ports on both the power over Ethernet network video recorder and the router. This misstep can significantly impact the system functionality and compromise its overall performance. Designated ports are pivotal for ensuring proper communication between the PoE and VR and the router. So it is crucial to highlight the distinct purpose of the PoE port on the MVR, and primarily designed to supply the power to connected IP cameras. These ports are not intended for router connections. Therefore, Understanding the specific functionality of each port and adhering to the recommended connection configurations are important for a seamless and efficient civilian system setup. So to ensure a foolproof setup, you should carefully connect one end of the Ethernet cable to the designated port on the PoE and VR, which is right here. This is the blank port. Let's plug it in here. And the other end to an available port on the router. So those are the ports available. Plug it in here. And this straightforward yet crucial step can establish a direct link for data transfer and remote access. Now I'm going to connect the PoE port to our bullet camera. It is already connected. So now it's getting both power and data through this single Ethernet cable. I can hear the sound of our bullet camera. So our video footage should come up soon. I'm going to wave my hand. You can see this is a live video. For our PoE and VR, you can also plug it into the other PoE port and still transfer the data. 
And the choice of cables is equally paramount. The use of high quality Ethernet cable can guarantee optimal performance. And quality cables not only facilitate reliable data transmission, but also contribute to the longevity and stability of the entire civilian network. And as an alternative option, you can also consider the NVR plus a PoE switch setup, where the PoE switch acts as a centralized hub for connecting multiple IP cameras. And this configuration not only simplifies cable management, but also provides flexibility in expanding the civilian network. So it is important to recognize the advantages of a PoE switch, such as efficient power distribution, simplify installation, so making it a valuable component in enhancing the overall effectiveness of a civilian system. So don't miss out on the latest insight, tutorials, and innovation in the world of technology. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful, and please be sure to subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Your support fuels our passion for creating informative and engaging content, so click that subscribe button now to become a part of our growing community. And let's explore the future of technology together. There.